Hey, everybody. Isn't it interesting? It is almost May right now, which means it's presidential election season. At least it's supposed to be. But you wouldn't know it from the campaign trail. Donald Trump has been tied up in our legal system all week. He's been in that court in New York City for the hush money trial. Meanwhile, his opponent, Joe Biden, also strangely absent from the campaign trail, but he doesn't seem to be quite as busy as Donald Trump is. He's at a beach house in Delaware. But hey, at least he's consistent. And Joe Biden doesn't need to be on the campaign trail because who needs to be on the campaign trail when you've got Hollywood celebrities to do it for you? In fact, several Hollywood celebrities have been out stumping for Joe Biden lately. Actor Michael Douglas, for example, whose authority in politics seems to stem from the fact that he played a politician in a movie. Well, then he's probably an expert, right? In fact, he was recently on CNN and he said that Joe Biden is, quote, sharp as a tack and mentally his acuity is fine. It's almost like he's reading from a script or something. He's not the only person who said this exact thing. I believe we have a clip of that. Go ahead and play it. Well, I think, I think that I walk a little similar to him. Um, and the people that I've talked to and everybody that I, I have uh, say he's, he's as sharp as a tack. He, he's fine. We all right, pa 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 pause right there. Pause right there. I want you to imagine everything you know about Joe Biden you learned in just the last week. That everything you know about him, forget about his scandals and his gaffes and all his flip-flopping policy positions over the past five, past five decades. Imagine you just know this guy from the past week. Okay, there's this guy named Joe Biden, and apparently his uncle was eaten by cannibals. Now, how do we know that? Well, he made this claim last week when he was speaking to a bunch of steel workers about a trade deal in Pittsburgh. Is the claim even true? The military records say it's not. They claim the plane went down in the ocean, and there's no mention of any cannibalistic feats. And let's be real, if there were flesh-eating parties going on, you'd think the military probably would have made a note of this, which begs the question, why would he make up such a bizarre story. And why wouldn't the media want to ask him a question about this? Amazingly, last week, Joe Biden made this claim and the media pretty much ignored it. But you know who didn't ignore it? The prime minister of Papua New Guinea, the Pacific Island, where Joe Biden claimed his uncle was eaten by cannibals. In fact, the prime minister is now asking for an apology and he wants the United States to come and clean up some of the mess we've left behind in their country from garbage over the years. And I'm sure that won't be a problem for a guy like Joe Biden. After all, he is as sharp as a tack, so he's more than qualified to clean up some garbage in a third world country just as soon as he figures out what the cannibals did with his dead uncle. I'm Kenny Webster. Thanks for watching. Please share this video.